My name is Arikana Chiyombarikwao. In my previous life, they called me Dr. C. I bring you greetings from your 1.27 billion brothers and sisters on the continent and your 55 African heads of states. Africa finally realizes that for Africa to move forward and take its rightful place on the world stage, Africa must speak and negotiate as one. So now a lot of companies around the world are scrambling to get into Africa. We had record applications for embassies in Africa last year. Right. What I'm also doing uh, uh, from a strategic point of view is organizing the African diaspora. We have lots of professionals in so many different leadership positions. You see, the Jews have done a very good job of calling on children of uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. A Jew may never set foot in, a, in Israel, but they know Israel is home. Indians know where they come from, the Chinese know where they come from, the Irish know where they come from. The only people who do not know where they come from are black people. And African Union has taken ownership of that. I think the reason it hasn't been done is because of the fragmentation. 55 countries, who's going to call them home? But the African Union this year, during the uh, February summit, uh, they unanimously uh, decided that 2019, 400 years of slavery, it is time to officially call on all children, descendants of former slaves, to come back home. And let me make this very clear. By saying, let's go home, we are not meaning to physically go home. We are saying, know that Africa is home. And that if you want to go, you're welcome to go anytime. Yes. Where we have issues as black people is that we are busy denying our anger. We have been told our anger is a horrible place. Diseased people, dying people, people at war with themselves, far from the truth. And it was all by design yes. to keep us disconnected. Yes. Because when we reconnect, we have an anchor. Yes. Black people around the globe, they need to know that Africa is home Amen. and that Africa is ready for you yes. whenever you want it. That Africa, it is your home that you should be in the front of the line for everything Africa. Your Africa is getting ready to open up big time. Yes. Bigger than you can even imagine. Yes. For the first time, they had a meeting last week in uh, Nairobi. The former Prime Minister of um, uh, Kenya, Raila Odinga, um, he is now the Special Envoy for Infrastructure and development in Africa. We, because we now have the 22 ratifications, yeah. implementation of the continental free trade area is gonna start sometime this summer. So that means we need to come up with a strategic plan for the development of the continent for the first time. Not, not the individual countries. This has never been done before. So they're wanting a core group from the diaspora. So that way, all the opportunities, they will go to the diaspora and the Afro champions first. We get to pick what we want. If there's anything left that we can handle, but I doubt there will be. But they're saying, we have got to look at Africa first. Africa and its children first. So they said, Ambassador, get the diaspora organized. This is so exciting that we can go home. Yes. And when we can tell our children where home is. Why are we black people the most disrespected race on earth? I wonder, was there a memo that was sent out around the globe? that wherever you see black people and you are not black, you are automatically superior. See, we are being told our continent is a continent of diseased and dying people, all by design. We are being told we are inferior to others, all by design. They got together so they can organize themselves so they can see to it that Africa and her children are forever defeated and dominated.
So they chopped us up into the tiny little countries that we know today. It was done in a way to see to it that these little economies can never survive on their own. And should they manage to survive like us, we always do. We'll make it somehow. We are easy to destabilize. We were set up to lose. Berlin Conference left us on a losing lane. And until Africa is in the right lane, no conversation that's held while in the losing lane is going to bring the desired results. It's like changing seats while riding the Titanic. It's like winning a fight while riding the Titanic. This ship is going down, folks. And the sooner we realize that there are holes in the Titanic and that we should come together and fix the holes in the Titanic so the Titanic does not sink. We are all going down. And this is where we are, my brothers and sisters. This ship that is our Africa is sinking. And it's going to take all of us waking up and realize that we have the responsibility to do something about what's going on in our Africa. Because what is going on in our Africa reflects on who we are. Africa! Honours is on us. To say enough is enough. That we know who we are. We know where we come from. And that we refuse to leave this world the way it is for our children. And the real battle for us is right here. The shackles of the mind. Until we can free ourselves, until we can have a serious conversation with the image in the mirror and ask ourselves the very important question, am I colonized? Am I suffering from the legacy of slavery? Why do I think the way I do? Why can't I trust my brother? Why can't I trust my sister? That is where the battle is. So the question I have for all of you, are you ready to have that conversation? So um, greetings everyone. <laughs> And uh, welcome to um, the ADDI Community oh. Outreach uh, webinar, where we're going to have some conversations as it relates to ADDI and uh, what ADDI is all about. Um, of course, if you are uh, looking at the program for today, this has been sent uh, to those who registered uh, via email. Um, so uh, I had to send it out in a couple of different batches. So I know that there were over 800 of you that registered for this particular uh, webinar, but there were a lot of you that had already participated in previous webinars. So the webinars from last weekend uh, that we highlighted the medical doctors mm -hmm. and the engineers and architects. Um, so if you had already um, attended, I, I would need everyone to mute, please. If you're not muted, um, I need you to mute, please. Um, so I did send it out in a couple batches. So everybody who was fresh, who was new, uh, that registered and did not attend a previous one, th they received an email uh, last night. And then anyone, um, a lot of the others, they I followed up today uh, with a with an email that had this schedule here for you, so you know what to uh, expect today. So uh, with this particular community outreach, we're calling this the Africa diaspora and Africa bridging the gap. All right. So um, I, I want to just kind of uh, level set because we did have some previous uh, webinars and we had some previous communication and uh, our volunteer staff here at ADDI can <laughs> attest for the, uh, the level of, of of activity, the level of interest uh, that people have in to, with the organization and supporting uh, Her Excellency with her new uh, organization. So we are thrilled uh, that we had so much um, participation. We received hundreds of emails. Uh, Sylvia can attest to that. She was uh, very spot on with giving you um, 
immediate feedback. Uh, we're still kind of going through all of the emails that we have been receiving. So we do appreciate your patience uh, in response, but keep in mind, we are a volunteer staff here at ADDI and uh, we all also uh, work full time. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out to everyone is exactly who we are. Now, I know if you have been a part of, you know, the email distribution and things along that line, you, you have seen this particular, um, you've received this particular information. But what I want to do is just kind of level set so we have a good understanding of uh, who we are as ADDI. Um, so first of all, the African Diaspora Development Institute right? So that is the full name of the institution, um, ADDI. It's an entity that is designed to be a bridge between all people of African descent living outside of Africa, also known as the African diaspora, right? Um, and their brothers and sisters on the continent. So again, bridging that gap between the two. The mission of ADDI is to promote unity among the African diaspora and to encourage them to participate in the development of Africa. Our mission is also to educate the African diaspora <laughs> about investment opportunities in Africa and to promote the African continental free trade area to the African diaspora. So that is the mission of this organization this is what this organization is about. For all of you who are eager to participate, we wanted to just make sure that you had a good understanding of what the mission of the organization was, right? And I love this African pro proverb here that says, if you wanna go fast, go alone. And if you wanna go far, go together. Because we know that together, united in unity, we are going to be able to get to, um, the goal and the mission that we're trying to accomplish here. All right, so next up, we are a nonprofit organization. And I know that I have broke every PowerPoint rule on this particular slide, but I wanted to just put this information out there so folks have a good understanding of what a nonprofit organization is. We are a nonprofit organization that has been uh, granted the 501c3 status by the United States government and the IRS, which essentially means that we're a tax exempt organization. We don't pay income tax on contributions um, that are received to this organization. Uh, one of the great things about when folks do donate uh, to our organization, to ADDI, they do, they're contribution is tax deductible. So we are uh, considered a community serving nonprofit organization with our focus on providing services to the community globally and locally. All right. So again, bridging that gap. Okay. So that is uh, the status of our organization. This is what we operate. So we operate under the auspices of a nonprofit organization that has a 501c3 tax exempt status. We want you all to join us and we appreciate everyone who has um, signed up to participate in these webinars that we're going to be having weekly. We, we appreciate everyone who has gone to the website ouraddi.org to provide us uh, with uh, the things that you feel strongly in that you're going to be able to help us uh, as it relates to uh, growing this organization so that we can actually obtain our mission. Because again, it's going to take millions of us to do what we need to do, right? Because we're talking, um, we are under the leadership of a true visionary, uh, Her Excellency has a vision that is so grandiose, and I have like one earring on, I'm just noticing that, has a vision that is so grandiose that um, oftentimes it's, it's, it's not easy for other people to see it. Um, so we want you to go to our ADDI.org. We have a, a section there on the website where you'll be able to join. Um, and essentially joining means signing up yourself personally, and if you have a business that you are associated with 
to sign up for your business so we know what you do. Um, so we know where we have strengths in our organization. And as um, things that uh, Her Excellency will be speaking to um, very soon, as those opportunities arise in um, Africa <coughs> on the continent, that we will have the opportunity to literally shift those people with that particular expertise into those particular areas. So it's very important for us to know who we're working with, right? So please go to our ADDI.org and sign up yourself and your business so that we have that information readily available as uh, projects on the continent become available. If you wanna reach out to us via email, the best way to go about that right now is to email info at our ADDI.org. Uh, Her Excellency has a Facebook page. So there's a link here. We're gonna be pasting this in the chat so you all will be able to actively um, connect. Um, so there's a Facebook <coughs> page for Her Excellency herself. Um, there's also a page for the ADDI movement. We recommend that of course you, you would go and um, subscribe to both of those pages. Uh, Instagram, it, we also have an Instagram page for Her Excellency herself, as well as for the movement. Uh, you can also reach out to Her Excellency via uh, LinkedIn. And we're also um, wanting to make sure that we can provide real-time communication. So we are asking that you text CT, our ADDI, to 25827. This will allow us to be able to text you directly with any updates. And um, so you'll have kind of like real time uh, interaction with, with the movement. So we ask that you do that. If you're outside of the United States, the best thing that you're going to do is to email info at our ADDI.org your phone number. And we will manually add you because this, this particular service is only available to us in the United States, okay? So, and if you're having any issue, if you try to do it and it doesn't work and all of that, just email us and we'll add it automatically, manually on the back end to, um, to because again, we're our lean team, a lean team. So we, we don't have a lot of bandwidth to troubleshoot and all of that. So the quickest way that we can get your number in there is gonna be easier for all of us. So just email it uh, to info at our ADDI.org if you wanna be a part of the text blasts that come out. We also have a uh, Telegram channel, which is another way that we are going to be broadcasting information. And this way we can broadcast um, videos and all different types of media and documents and links. So, you know, more than what we can do from an SMS text message. So we encourage you to also be a part of our Telegraph channel where we have a broadcast side and we also have a chat side. So you're welcome to chat amongst yourselves um, once you're in the group, but we also have the channel side so we can broadcast and you'll basically be able to see the information um, that's coming directly from ADDI up front and uh, center so it doesn't get kind of uh, mixed up in all of the, the chats that you're doing um, inside of the chat side. So we're welcoming you to uh, join Telegraph as well. All right. So those are the main ways that you're going to be able to reach out. I know a lot of you after last weekend had just, you know, it had exploded and we're really happy um, to have the traction that we're having with the organization. And we're really um, glad that you all are eager to be a part and help us build <coughs> and obtain our mission. Um, as I mentioned, uh, ADDI is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. So everything that we, we are doing, everything that our mission is mandating us to do, right, is to uh, connect the African diaspora back with the motherland, providing opportunity, um, all of those things. As with any nonprofit organization, it requires funding. So just as any other nonprofit organization, we survive off of contributions. We, we have to work on uh, corporate sponsorships and grants and all of those types of things in order to actually meet our goal and our mission. So with that being said, for those of you who would love to uh, contribute 
whether it's on a weekly, monthly, one-time basis, however you desire to do that, we truly and greatly appreciate that. Uh, you can go to our website. When you go to our website, to ouraddi.org, to the donate um, section, you will see different categories, um, really reflecting the different projects that we are focusing on. You'll see pro projects for women, children, our legacy fund, you'll see um, our operations fund. So you'll see all of those different areas and you can donate uh, to whatever fund you see fit, right? Um, we are accepting donations through Zelle. So if you, if you have Zelle and you wanna utilize that as an option, go to finance at our ADDI.org. That is what you'll look up when you're, when you're looking up for Zelle. And we also can receive Cash App. So if you go to dollar sign our ADDI, you'll be able to send your donation via Cash App. Keeping in mind that your donations are tax deductible. So by end of uh, December this year, you will receive notification from us um, with an accumulation of the donations that you've made throughout the year so that you have the information needed uh, for your tax deduction on your um, when you file your taxes for 2021. Um, also, you'll see here uh, Bank of America. Um, that is where our uh, organization uh, does its banking. So if you need to wire or things like that, that is where you'll reach out to do that. Um, any further questions or information as it relates to donations, you can always email finance at ouraddi.org and we will uh, be glad to respond to you through that channel. Yay for contributions. I'm so excited that over the last weekend, we, we raised approximately $40,000. Um, that was um, something that was, was truly amazing to us. And we know that we have a, a long way to go to, to really do what we intend to do based on our mission, um, based on the things that we are uh, mandated to do as an organization. So uh, kudos to everyone out there who uh, took it upon themselves to contribute to the cause and to um, do what they could to make sure that uh, ADDI uh, reaches its goals. Again, we have a long way to go and we're imploring with all of you, um, we need your time, your talent and your treasure to help us to, uh, to really obtain the goal that we want. Now, considering the fact that we did raise almost uh, $40,000 over last week, and we were inundated with a lot of emails and messages and, and things like that. I wanted to make sure that we level set um, all of the information about our organization, first and foremost. <coughs> That's why I wanted to, to move forward and tell you about how we're a 501c3. Um, but because um, our part of our mission is to um, unveil uh, investment opportunities that are a part of um, building Africa, we wanted to make sure that we didn't blur the lines because we are going to be having um, guest speakers that are going to come in with investment opportunities. And like I said, we're working with a visionary. So when we're working with um, Her Excellency, we have to understand that her vision is what we're building as a nonprofit organization and what we can do from uh, an investment perspective as a diaspora collective in the future. Now, understanding that is two separate things. It's like two separate phases almost. So we want to ensure that everyone who donated over the weekend understands that their donation was a contribution to ADDI. And if in fact you made a donation or you contributed to ADDI and you were under the, the understanding that you were investing in uh, what our guest speaker uh, from Travaco had to offer from an investment perspective, just send us a message and let us know and we'll return your money. And then you can go to uh, Dr. Benanula with Travaco on your own and work with him directly for that investment opportunity. Okay. Because we are going to pre be presenting investment opportunities. So we will be having these guest speakers come on, but what we want to um, keep in mind is that we are trying to collect so that we can do things as a collective. 
all right, um, where we're going to pack a, a, a more powerful punch as a collective. OK, so the things that we are trying to do, we're thinking of um, us working as a as the diaspora together to make some to make some uh, change. All right. So with that being said, we will be having future investment opportunities. Um, will all of our uh, particular webinars will will have guest speakers that are, are are presenting investment opportunities, but we want to be very clear that those guest speakers that we have that are presenting investment opportunities are presenting those investment opportunities on behalf of their own organizations. And when we as ADDI are asking for you to support us, we are asking for you to support us from a contribution donation to our organization, go to the website, look at the different categories and donate where you see fit. So thank you so much for all of you that donated. We absolutely appreciate it. But again, if you donated and you actually thought you were making an investment with our guest speaker, just let us know. Send us a note. Um, you could do it here in the chat. But what would be best is if you email us at info at our ADDI.org so we can go ahead and um, make that make it right for you okay because we don't we want to be very clear of what our mission is and that's one of the main things when you're running a nonprofit organization um, being very clear being trustworthy and knowing that we are going to be a very good steward of the contributions that we receive we want to make sure that that is the message that we're putting out so again thank you so much we are uh, tremendously pleased with the traction that we are gaining. But remember, we need your time, talent, and your treasure in order for this um, mission and this what this organization has in mind, what us as a collective of the diaspora, for what we, we, what we are capable of doing, we need you all um, to come together for that. Um, Her Excellency has released her book, and I hate that this is grayed out. I thought I changed that before. Ah, uh, this one looks better. <laughs> there we go. Um, her Excellency just released her book, um, which is The Wake Up Call. So Africa 101, The Wake Up Call. This is an awesome historical uh, wake up call to all of us. It always helps to know where you've come from. Historically, the things that have happened that allowed us to be in the positions that we are today so that it enables us to make our next move our best move. And her book has been in pre-order since the beginning of the year. And you know, COVID came and things were happening and all of that. And she's finally here with the book. So the book is actually being autographed and shipped daily. And we are so excited to basically get this in every single one of your hands so that we are all on the same page as to where we have come from and where we need to go. I know so many of you are impacted by the speeches that she um, gives across the globe. Now you can have it all in a concatenated, autographed, hardcover or paperback, right? You can have it um, right in your hand so you can peruse it and really have a good understanding. Because again, as we're formulating this organization, we want to make sure that we are all talking the same talk, right? That we are all representing it in the way that Her Excellency wants the organization to be represented. So we want to make sure that we all really have a good understanding of uh, what we represent as ADDI. So I ask you all to please go to our africa101.org and order your copy of the book if you have not done so already. I know I sent an email out to all of you that had ordered the books to um, just two days ago to let you all know that the book is on its way, right? We're so excited about it. I know you all have been waiting for a while, but you have to understand when you do a pre-order, that helps tremendously with um, the publishing company, with the uh, distribution, it really um, helps as, as it relates to um, getting that bestseller type of uh, um, 
announcement um, through like your Amazons and all of that. So we appreciate every one of you who actually went and uh, pre-ordered the book um, because that really helped to kind of level set to see where we were going um, with the book. So it's here now. She's autographing them, right? So she's signing each and every one of them. So understand that, you know, you're getting an autographed copy. Be patient. It's on its way to you. If you haven't ordered it, order it now. OK, so um, that is uh, all for me as it relates to um, those things there. One thing that I do want to uh, mention um, before I introduce her excellency to you all so she can uh, take it from here. I kind of wanted, wanted to just kind of go through a little bit of her bio because some of us know who she is. You know, we hear her, she's doing these fiery speeches. You know, she's going up against whole countries. You know, she's doing all of this good stuff. And I kind of just wanted to make sure that we level set and said, hey, this is who she is. Um, and, and, and just kind of putting that out there. So we have a really good understanding about that. So Her Excellency Ambassador Ericana Shiambo Riquao, she is the founder president and chief executive officer of ADDI. She is a medical doctor. She has practiced medicine for over 25 years. She is the founder and the owner of medical clinics. She is a diplomat, a public speaker, an educator, an entrepreneur, and now thanks to Africa 101, she is an author, right? So we want you to get that wake up call. Prior to, um, this, her role as the permanent representative of the African Union Mission in Washington, D.C. from 2016 to 2019, she worked tire tirelessly towards fulfilling her mandate, which was to undertake, develop, and maintain relationships between the African Union and the executive and legislative branches of the United States government, the African Diplomatic Corps, and the Africans in the diaspora and the Bretton Woods, uh, Bretton Woods Institution. This was specifically in relation to the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area and advancing the priority areas of Agenda 2063. She has been noticed for her efforts in mobilizing the diaspora <laughs> uh, and basically her ability to unify people around a common goal. And she speaks with one voice as one Africa and one continent. Before her appointment as the US ambassador, she uh, contributed to the causes in Africa. She has earned many prestigious honors and awards. She, has, um, she was awarded by uh, the late president, uh, Nelson Mandela of the Republic of South Africa. She received an award uh, directly from him, as well as President Mugabe from the Republic of Zimbabwe. Um, during her three-year tenure as the AU ambassador, she received over 100 awards and attestations from many organizations, including the Aspir African diaspora within the Americas. She received the 2018 Ambassador of the Year Award from Howard University in Washington, D.C., She's received numerous recognitions from members of Congress, as well as governors, mayors, and county executives from across the United States, as well as the Caribbean and South America. She uh, was featured in January 2020 uh, with a profile in Courage, and she was named the person of the year by the Guardian newspaper, which is the largest newspaper in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. She is a fellow at the American Academy of Family Physicians, and she's also a member of the American Association of Family Physicians, as well as the Tennessee Association of Family Physicians. Her Excellency was born and raised in Zimbabwe, where she attained her primary and secondary education. She then left Zimbabwe for the United States where she obtained her bachelor's degree in general chemistry, a master's degree in organic chemistry, as well as a doctor of medicine degree. She is married to her Guyanian husband 
and is a proud mother of five children and a very happy grandmother of five grandchildren. I need you all to know how beautiful this woman is for having essentially given up her career, her time. Um, she has literally not earned one single solitary cent since she left the African Union. She is dedicating herself to this mission. And we all need to stand with her. And I know that um, I muted y'all because I really wanted to like unmute y'all and say, I want y'all to just clap real loud, clap real loud, clap real loud um, as we welcome her. Um, because again, she puts in so much work and you know, she tires me out by just knowing how much she works. And I'm very protective of my, um, my self-care. You know, I will limit myself immediately. I don't see that in her. I love her for it. Um, but, I, but again, I'm real protective of her because um, we need her to be here for a long time uh, leading us. Amen. And the way that one Amen. of the things that we know that defines a true leader it's not how many followers they have. It's how many leaders that they spark to lead the way with them. And that's what we have in her.